VSA is about providing true friends and family hunting and fishing experience, outdoor therapy for injured and disabled veterans. I'm Brett Johnson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Veterans Sportsman Alliance. We're based in Cupertino, California. I'm Cheyenne Johnson. I'm 16 years old and I'm the co-founder princess of VSA. I wanted to get back outdoors, had planned a hunting trip for myself and my daughter. Cheyenne said, Dad, we need to help injured and disabled vets. I just thought it'd be like one veteran, one time kind of deal. And then one person found out and then another person found out and it just kind of snowballed. We got incorporated, got our 501c3 nonprofit status and now we provide outdoor therapy for injured and disabled vets. We do it surrounded by friends and family so that there are multiple people that these vets can can gravitate to because it increases the odds of being able to help these guys further down the road. I'm Jim Irwin, former Army Special Operations soldier. Spent uh, about 11 and a half years in the Army. VSA is a broad spectrum charity. They are not concerned with the severity of the injury. It could be a guy with TBI, and, you know, double amputee, triple amputee. They don't discriminate based on that. So I think that's amazing. VSA puts a lot of time and effort into uh, helping vets enjoy life again. It doesn't matter if it's a NASCAR race or hiking the top of a mountain for an elk hunt, hog hunts, fishing, going to Sturgis. Maybe you just want to go to a hot rod shop and look at cars because that's an interest of you. If it's helping you as a veteran get out of the house and do something and be proactive, they're all about trying to help you out. It's incredible what these individuals um, endure. Um, and part of that's my relationship with my brother-in-law. Um, this is really tough. <laughs> Reading some of the letters and just like hearing what they go through, it sucks. If you see a vet say hi to the guy, put out a hand and say hello. Say thank you. I just kind of want to change it. <laughs> make sure that they know they are wanted and they they can they can do it and they can go out and they can do whatever they think they can you're going to be helping a lot of kids that uh, otherwise might uh, decide that they need to, to to leave this this life a little early so don't be shy about helping out and uh, i would hugely appreciate it as well as a lot of other veterans we live on donations the money received by these donations goes to helping all these veterans go on a variety of trips there are no paid employees with vsa everything's either charity work or donated time. Everything that these guys use on the hunt, the rifle, the loophole optics, the range finders, everything that they use, that is theirs to keep and take home at the end of every event. Our thought is, if you're gonna bring these guys in the outdoor, equip them for success. We want them to know that they can do something, even when other people say they can't or they are telling themselves they can't. We say, question everything. Somebody says you're not going to walk, get up and walk. They say you're not going to hunt, you call us, you will hunt. I'm excited about being a part of VSA because I get to help raise money to get these veterans out there and off the couch. I get to go on some of these trips and meet these guys and see the excitement in their eyes from just being out there and doing it. Meeting donors that come out and do hunts with us as well and getting them exposed to these veterans. The, the, the look of satisfaction and, and happiness and pride in their face is uh, unexplainable. It's, it's a beautiful thing.